Hello and welcome to this low-level JavaScript mini-series all about the bits and bytes of binary. Imagine that we had two bundles of four wires, which represent two different binary numbers, both four bits wide. If we use the AND operation on these two binary numbers, then for each bit of both numbers, if the bit is a 1 in both cases, then the output bit is also a 1. Otherwise, it's a 0. To write this in code, we'll have a method called AND, which will take an argument other, which is the other binary number. Now, we should perform some cursory checks to ensure that the other that we've provided is indeed an instance of binary. And we'll do this pretty often, so let's put this in its own method called assert is binary. That'll take an other argument, and we'll say that if the other is not an instance of binary, then we'll throw an error. Now we can place this check into the AND method. We're going to make a second assertion, which is that the other number has the same number of bits as this binary number. So let's put that in its own method too, and we'll call it assert same number of bits. If the number of bits is different, then we'll throw an error. We can use this method in our AND implementation as well. And now we're going to need to iterate through this bit array, as well as the other bit array, and perform some kind of computation on both bits, in the end producing a new bit array. That sounds a lot like a map, so let's add a utility function called CombineMap that takes two arrays and a transforming function and returns a new array. We can implement this using map, so we'll map the first array getting the value as well as its index, and returning the result of running the function on the value and the corresponding value in the other array. Now we should be able to implement the AND operation in a fairly straightforward way. The new bits will be a combined map of the bits of this binary number and the bits of the other binary number, combining them both using the bitwise AND operation that's built into JavaScript. In the end, we can return a new binary using those new bits. The OR operation is quite similar to AND, but the resulting bit is a 1 if either the first binary number has a 1 in that position or the second has. To implement this, we'll copy and paste AND, only changing the bitwise operation to use this pipe character, which is bitwise OR in JavaScript. XOR is an exclusive OR, meaning that the resulting bit is a 1 if either the first is a 1 or the second is a 1, but not when they're both 1s. It's exclusively one or the other. Again, we'll copy and paste the code of OR, only changing the symbol to this caret. The last operation we'll cover today is NOT, and that only acts on a single binary number. In this operation, every bit is flipped from a 1 to a 0, or from a 0 to a 1. We don't need to check if it's a binary number because we're acting on this, so we know it must be a binary number. To get the new bits, we can map this.bits and check to see if the bit is a zero. If it is, we'll return a one, and of course, if it's not, we'll return a zero. We can test these operations on two binary numbers, A and B. First, we can log A and B, then A or B, then A X or B, and not A, which gives us these results. So for AND, only the first and last bit are a 1 in both cases, so the output is 1001. In the case of OR, every bit has a 1 in either A or B at every position, so the output is actually 1111. 
For XOR, the only places that there's a 1 for A or for B, but not for both, is bit 1 and bit 2. So the output is 0, 1, 1, 0. And lastly, NOT inverts all the bits of A, so the output is 0, 1, 0, 0. So to recap, the bitwise operations NOT, AND, XOR and OR act on individual bits of a binary number. When two binary numbers are involved, the operation takes place on all the bits at the same position of each number.